Hi everyone, this is a review of the Aqua True. I had purchased this and paid basically about $450 uh, for this item. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set it up. Uh, when you do purchase the item, it's gonna come on basically these items are gonna be one, one piece and then you're gonna have the filters as well uh, that come with it. This is a reverse osmosis. Uh, basically tankless, uh, well I want to say tankless, but a reverse osmosis system where you don't have to plug it in uh, back at the sink or, or whatnot. Uh, you can basically fill it up with water and it will basically do its work for reverse osmosis water. That is one of the reasons why I had purchased this product. It was because of that. I didn't want to install it and connect it and all this stuff under the sink then you know drill a hole right here and then pop up a uh, filtered i guess faucet so i'd rather be able to do this is much uh, easier you don't have to uh, cut through the granite and make a hole and and whatnot um so first off what you want to do is when you open this this basically top is going to be like this okay guys and you're gonna have to take it off and you're gonna have these little stickers here that you have to take off these. These are where the filters go into. So it's pretty nice that they have it color coded too. Green, blue, yellow, uh, green, you, uh, blue, yellow. Uh, pretty intuitive, pretty easy. Um, and also it does tell you right here how to work the system, right? Um, and how to install a new filter. So we're gonna continue here along the process and I will show you how things work after I plug it in into here all right so you can see here I went ahead and installed each one of those pretty easy just put it in sideways and then twist it uh, clockwise I mean uh, yeah clockwise and it goes right in there uh, I do I do want to notate that when these were in the plastic uh, let me go ahead and show you the plastic two of them were air airtight uh, but the third one was not airtight so just keep in mind that uh, when you're using these filters, give it a couple, as even says in the instructions, give it a couple tries and going through the system uh, to make sure all the contaminants and whatnot are, are placed through. So, uh, and make sure that these arrows are facing right at each other. You saw me right there, I had to twist this blue filter and also this yellow filter here and making sure that these uh, alignments happen because we don't want water to kind of spill out of it. All right, so we went ahead and closed it up right here. You can see right here is pretty seamless, pretty easy and putting that thing in. Uh, and now we've got these two tanks. We've got the, basically the waste tank here, wastewater tank, and we've got the filtered water tank. As always, all items that I do purchase, I always clean these items out. I know people that get products and they just don't wash it. I mean, we're talking about pots, pans when they first purchase it. There are, you know, chemicals and different items that are placed within these products that, you know, you need to wash out. So I highly recommend washing both these items out uh, with soap and water. And even it does, it does specify here on the top, clean both tanks once a week with soap and water. So, and the reason for that is because they don't want the bacteria growth to happen. So I'm going to go in and clean it out and I'll take it to the next step. All right. So as you can see here, I clean both filters. I uh, went ahead and put it in, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on here and see how things go. So, looks like I uh, may have put it on a little too quickly. Let me turn it off here. Let me go to the instructions. Alright, so as you can see here, I filled this up on this tank. So, as you can see here, the water's going through. And... Uh, it's basically filtering through the water. It's going through the, the osmosis system. And these are instructions, by the way. It kind of tells you within the instruction book, okay, you know what, fill this up with water, put it in, run four full on tap, unfiltered tap water tanks to the, before drinking, okay? And the reason why they recommend that is because the filters themselves are sediments. I mean, there's basically is a filter, so a lot of the components in the filter will go into the water, but after four times, all those uh, components within the filter will be flushed out and then you can be able to drink pure uh, reverse osmosis water. So just keep that in mind. Um, you can see right here uh, that they also tell you this is how you, you pour the water out. You basically push this blue button. And you can see right here, the water is being pushed through right here. 
Okay, this is filtered water, but like I said, you want to make sure that you empty it out uh, because the the first you know four full times. So, um, and you can see right here, uh, it kind of tells you exactly where the system is at uh, within it, and also uh, how to remove uh, this component here, which is very easy, and then put it in your fridge for cold water. So very intuitive, very easy. Um, it also tells you there is some cleaning and and maintenance that needs to be done um, for it and by the way this is very important right here calcium deposit in tap water tank and algae in water tank so if you guys want to pause it and and read that item you're more than welcome on the video and also by the way if this video has been helpful uh, please uh, press the like button it's going to help out the YouTube algorithm and uh, consider subscribing down below with, with the notification bell because I will be apologize for that shake right there I will be updating uh, all of you guys on this product uh, as I go through it within the next couple months. So if I have any issues, if I do like the product, any pros, cons of the product, I will be posting videos on this channel. So click on subscribe with the notification bell down below so you are alerted. Uh, so anyways, back to this. Uh, it's kind of going through the system right here in terms of... Um, and it kind of tells you as well the filter deposit, which is really nice. It has that kind of functionality. And how you can be able to clean and maintain uh, this product. So overall, uh, you know, I, I like the product. I like what it stands for. Again, I haven't tried it for long term. This is my first day uh, receiving it. So I will be posting videos of it long term. And comment down below if you have used the Aqua True. How it has been... Uh, your experience utilizing it has it been good has it been bad uh, have you used another portable reverse osmosis um, you know tank filter that you can comment down below I want to hear your thoughts so please uh, feel free to post that and uh, as always uh, check you guys out on the next video thank you